Hi, this is Jason Stevenson from Backpacker Magazine. Today we're going to take a closer look at one of the skills we wrote about in the February 2007 issue. That particular skill was how to build a footprint for your tent. Now why do you need a footprint for your tent? Well, a footprint will help protect against wear and abrasion on the tent floor. It can also keep you drier in wet weather. So let's look at some of the materials that you'll need to build this footprint. First of all, one of the most important materials you'll need will be a grommet kit. This is something I picked up from the neighborhood hardware store. It cost me about $12. You'll use the grommets to secure the footprint to the existing tent poles on your tent. Now, some other materials you'll need, and actually very important, would be the footprint material itself. This is painter's plastic that I also picked up at that hardware store. It's about two microns thick. It's uh, you know, very thin and light, but still durable enough to uh, you know, give you that extra layer of protection. But if you're looking for something a little bit more durable, then there's also tarps. I got this tarp at the hardware store as well. It cost me about $6. It's about 10 by 12, and it actually comes with garment, uh, grommets, something you might even use uh, to pitch over a uh, picnic table. But we're going to cut this one up and build a, a footprint out of this as well. One more material that you need will be some webbing. This is about five feet of webbing. It costs about 45 cents a foot at that same hardware store. You can get it at Home Depot as well. We're going to use the webbing to secure the footprint to the tent poles. And so we'll see how to do that in just a little bit. And of course, I've got my tent here. This is a Kelty Creston uh, solo tent here. Now you notice I've actually pitched the rain fly as well. And I did that on purpose because when I build this footprint, I want to actually have the footprint go under the vestibule space. That way that I'm storing my gear, like my pack or something else there, um, it'll be protected from the ground in case the ground is muddy. So that's an introduction to how, to, how we're going to build this footprint and let's take it to the next step. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually put the material that we're going to build the footprint out of underneath the tent. And as you can see here, I've set up my tent. It's actually a non-freestanding tent. So I've used some dumbbells to uh, help uh, guide out here. Uh, and I've slid the plastic, the painter's plastic, underneath the tent, um, cut out a chunk of it that was a little bit bigger than the tent, and uh, that's what I'm going to use to build the footprint with. Now, what I've got here is a black permanent marker. I'm going to draw an outline around the entire tent using this marker. Um, I'm actually going to include a little bit of space here for the vestibule, because um, I want to preserve that for the footprint. And so I'm just going to continue drawing this black line around the tent, all the way around, and then when I finish with that, I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut. But I'm actually not going to cut that black line. I'm going to cut about three inches inside that black line because I want to actually make sure that the footprint is underneath the tent so that if it rains, the rain isn't going to fall down, get onto the footprint, and then seep underneath the tent and get, you know, anybody inside of it wet. So I'm going to draw the black line around the tent. I'm going to cut out about three inches inside, and we'll see what we can do next. Now, if you've made your footprint out of the painter's plastic material, you're pretty much done at this point. And actually, here is the footprint for this particular tent. You've already cut out the outline of the tent, and you've cut in about three inches to make sure that none of the footprint shows beyond the edge of the tent or the rainfall. So this is a great, lightweight, but durable rainfall or uh, footprint that you can use for spring and summer backpacking. But if you want something a little more durable, then we're going to take another couple steps to finish the footprint using the heavy blue plastic tarp. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put grommets in the corners so you can attach the tarp to the tent poles um, and secure it there and, and make sure that it's going to last. So that's what we're going to do next. Now the next thing we're going to do is going to place the tarp underneath the tent. And then I'll use a black magic marker to draw an outline of the tent on the blue tarp and then cut three inches inside that line to create the shape of the footprint. Now for the next part we're actually going to be measuring the webbing that we're going to be using to attach the tarp to the tent poles around the perimeter of the tent. So in this case, I've got a corner of the tarp underneath here. And I've got my ruler. I'm going to measure that distance from the tarp to the tent pole, and it's about five inches or so. I'm going to triple that distance and then measure about 15 inches then of this webbing and make a cut. I'm going to do that for all the different key positions around the tent, uh, right here, at the front of the tent, down here, the other side of this pole, and then down at the foot of the tent as well. I'm going to make all those cuts, all those measurements, and get the webbing together, and then we're going to use some grommets and figure out how to attach the tarp to the tent. Now we're going to look at how to use a grommet to attach the footprint to the tent pole. Now, first of all, we've got our webbing here, 
And as you can see, I've created the, the holes around the bend in the webbing. This was actually quite a difficult task to do. Um, normally a grommet kit comes with this cutter. Uh, the cutter did help, but I did have to use a pair of scissors as well to kind of auger that out a little bit. Um, so this is, takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it because then you can use the webbing. Um, another part of a grommet kit we've got here is the wooden baseboard. I'm using this to help protect the floor. And let's say we just want to create a grommet right now. So I've already created the hole uh, through the webbing. I'm going to take this metal base, it's kind of a heavy metal base, put that down, take the grommet and set it up so the flange is facing upwards. Then I'm going to place the webbing over it so that the just top part of that grommet sticks out. I'm going to take the washer, which is the other part of the grommet, I'm going to stick it over here with the rounded side up. I'm going to take this puncher, put it down right through there. I'm going to grab a hammer and a couple heavy wax. Voila, we've got a grommet. Now we're ready to complete this project by attaching the webbing to the footprint using another grommet. So let's look what we got here. We've got the webbing that we made before with the grommet in the folded end, and we've got the two open ends of the webbing right here. And you can see with great labor, I was able to punch again two holes through the webbing um, using the cutter and then also some scissors to make the holes a little bit bigger. And then, of course, we also have the footprint here, where we've got a hole right here. Um, we're going to attach the, the webbing to it with a grommet. So let's see how this is done. I've got the baseboard. I've got the metal base right there. I'm going to place the grommet uh, top side up on top of that. I'm then going to create what I call my grommet sandwich. So we'll put the bottom piece of webbing on first. We'll slide that underneath, put the footprint through there, also through the hole and then put the top piece of the uh, webbing over there. So that sandwich is complete. We'll finish it off with the washer. Put that over the top. You can see the grommet is actually sticking up through the webbing. That's important. You want that to happen, otherwise it won't complete. Take the puncher, grab a hammer, and let's see what happens. All right. We've successfully attached the webbing to the footprint. So this side of the tent is ready to go. You just saw how we used a grommet to attach the webbing to the, between the footprint and the tent on over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to each other point on this tent, whether a guy line out front or some of the other pole positions around the other side, and use the other pre-cut lengths of webbing and more grommet parts to make these connections. And once I'm finished, I'm going to have a brand new footprint ready to take on my next backpacking trip. And by the way, John Dorn, if you're watching, I could use a little bit more vacation, because once I get this footprint together, I'm going to want to go backpacking a lot more. Remember, when you cut the footprint for your tent, cut it three inches inside the bottom of your tent or rain fly. Next, purchase a grommet kit from your local hardware store for about $10. When assembling the grommets, make sure you assemble the parts in the right order, and put two grommets in each piece of webbing, attach one to the tarp, and leave a second grommet to attach to the tent pole.